Yes, sir. Uh, can you bring the mic closer, sir? The participants feel that your audio is low. Uh, so now okay, sir. Yes, I think so. Participants able to clear it clearly. Over it is okay, sir. Yes, 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 yes. You can continue. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. If any problem, uh, tell me, sir. I will change my mic. Okay, I'm audible, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. You can continue. Ah, yes, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in continuation of that weighted residual method, uh, we are. Uh, I'm going to start the Rayleigh Rich method. It is that one of the second approach method. So, first uh, weighted residual method, uh, we have discussed uh, the fourth thing. So, that is for. So, what is meant by point collocation method? Second one is the what is meant by least square method and the subdomain method. What is the uh, so many things? So make I will change my mic. Hello. So we have discussed uh, detailly about the uh, weighted residual method. So weighted residual method. So now I'm going to start with this Rayleigh risk method. In weighted residual technique, uh, uh, just I recall everything, then only we can understand the Rayleigh risk method. Because of the Rayleigh risk method, the fully depends upon the mathematical equation and the mathematical condition. So without understanding that basic concept, we can solve the Rayleigh risk method. But the problem wise, the Rayleigh risk method concept is easy. But we can't explain to students why it is, what concept behind of it, what mathematical equation support it, it is very difficult. So students also listen very carefully. Uh, it will be definitely useful and it may uh, useful to move again. So a uh, weighted residual method, for example, if you take point collocation method, a uh, residual value will be is equal to zero. You will be take R equal to zero, you will be calculate your uh, particular coefficient. Everybody know the R is the residue, you can call it as the error. So I will let uh, translate, I will give some idea about uh, one by one. Just I will give overview and I will talk my Rayleigh dish method. For in the second one is I am going to take for the least square. I am going to take my residue, the entire domain value, the square value is equal to zero. So next uh, further I will be take the integral part. Uh, finally, Kalagin uh, approach, I will multiply my weight residue the weight by weighting function into that uh, residue, we will be get that answer. So, uh, compared to that four, uh, point collocation, subdomain, least square, Kalergin, definitely we will be getting more accurate result in the Kalergin approach. So, Kalergin approach, we, uh, we did, just we have multiplied, so our weighting function into the residue and we will integrate the whole domain. That time we will get the final result. So, it is the pure mathematical thing, it is very, very wonderful thing. I am going to talk about now Rayleigh Rich method. Why we are going for the Rayleigh Rich method? In this lecture, I am going to cover so what is Rayleigh Rich method? So, how uh, why we are using Rayleigh Rich method? What is the difference between uh, what is a direct stiffness method, weighted residual technique, and a Rayleigh Rich method? So, and, uh, what is the application and uh, what is the difference between structural problem and uh, that is nonlinear problem? I am going to discuss few things about the first unit. So second, uh, finite element analysis, and I'm not going to detail in the basic. So I quick recall about the basic, I will start my lecture. Uh, finite element analysis mean, that is for the numerical method for solving problems for engineering and mathematical physics, okay? So second thing, we can simply define the numerical procedure for solving differential equation. So if we, everybody know, if we is the advanced course, so we uh, definitely we, we need to strong in that mathematical aspect then only we can understand the technical concept of FEA. So so here this is for that uh, one of the simple thing. So if you are if you want to find out the area, so I'm going to take uh, this is the one thing. I'm going to take it as this is the L, this is the B. So I'm going to find you don't want to consider as a 3D, just you can consider as the 2D. Definitely you can find out the area L into B. So second thing, uh, if I'm going to give that one more object, so I'm going to give one more object square, definitely you can find out in the formula A square. Now I'm going to give one of the object, so this is my, you can take it as the bounded area. For example, 
so you can consider as this is for the bounded area how we can find out the area it is very very difficult so how so what is the way we can solve the result is so integral and a differential calculation for example uh, i'm going to take for the particular domain the fish wise polynomial i'm going to take this one so first i can find out the known value of rectangular area second i can consider as this is as the triangle so i can find out the triangular area finally i can add so remaining we have a somewhat error this is the error so how we have to minimize this error that's why we are studying and we, there is still research going on about fea so we want to select uh, our say function we want to select uh, so we want to improve our polynomial order we can use our trigonometric function so we have uh, the several ways of that to so reduce your error i hope you have understand this simple and very very fundamental thing of finite domain analysis with this i start with this i start second thing uh, why fea what integral that's why the sky gave some images so here you can consider as this is as simply supported beam you can consider as uh, simply supported beam uh, so if i my in my point of view i am going to find out the deflection y value so you can simply uh, find out so uh, before studying if a uh, free the quistis knowledge are we want to strong in uh, strength material as well as the fluid mechanics and the thermal problems and we we, we, are, we want to strong in mathematical aspect these are the very very free requisites knowledge for understanding fea i hope everybody come across first year second year third year uh, i mean a student point of view faculty point of view already we have handled so many times just we are going to improve something so here uh, this is for that uh, can deliver so simply we can if i in a som approach uh, i can simply define so pl cube by 3a so pl cube by 3a i can find out my deflection value of the cantilever beam this is for the one of the analytical solution if uh, the domain is very very uh, easy and we can easily construct the domain definitely we can find out uh, deflection value but whenever our domain is very large very complicated uh, it is not suitable otherwise i am going to find out deflection in my known points so it is also very difficult in that uh, that known formula so that's why so in the solution uh, we definitely we need to go for the finite element analysis and also you can consider as uh, one bar element so bar element every we just we are strong in that uh, mathematical uh, mathematical aspect strength of material stress equal to force by area sin equal to change in length by length uh, original length and uh, pl by ae del l so definitely we can find out everything but in my aspect i want to uh, find out uh, just i am going to find out the particular location what is the deflection uh, whether this is for the simple uh, this is that uh, step to bar only the two thing so if it is very complicated so that time also our analytical will be failure definitely we want to go for uh, some other way so the some other way means it may be comes in uh, one era that is for the finite element analysis okay so in this aspect i am going to continue with the so next thing um, so polynomial so polynomial approximation in one dimension this is also very very fundamental uh, fundamental things of uh, finite element analysis so this is for that a not this is for the constant so it may be give the y equal to mx plus c that is for the own a not means constant it may be give the bond value it is not exact solution if you improve the order so i'm going to improve this order as the uh, linear form a not plus a one s so definitely our value will be improve our accuracy will be improve and also uh, before starting that first unit uh, we need to aware of what is meant by trapezoidal rule what is meant by simpson one by third rule so it is also fundamental thing for that so numerical solution okay i will give some idea in the later slide so here next i am going to improve my quadratic form this is the constant linear and the third one is that quadratic form i have to improve quadratic form so it will be so our accuracy will be improved okay so from that uh, definitely we can understand if you improve the polynomial order so definitely our accuracy will be improved so what mathematical concept behind of it that I, so like that we are going to discuss in that 
so for the slides so next uh, um, this is also a very very simple thing uh, the first 10 to 15 slide very basic thing i will be quick recall definitely it will be give some idea about the later slides so only the three by four solving engineering problem i will give some little idea experiment and the numerical and the analytical method everybody know the experimental method gives the actual measurement but we can go for all the time it may be take more time as well as cost aspect so we want to eliminate this one so further we are going for the two way one is the analytical method and the numerical method so analytical method uh, last two slides definitely you can understand what analytical method if it is our problem is simple definitely we can solve analytical method we can get 100 percent as a result but our problem is very complicated so i'm going to take our, our domain as the sky how it is uh, how it is possible so definitely we want to go for another method that is for the numerical method so uh, for our normal days we are uh, uh, traveling in flight we are launching satellite so what confident we have how we can analyze everything is the complicated so uh, we want to go for something for analyze that is for the FEA FEA purely the mathematical concept okay so now we have uh, some clarity about FEA and I will start my next slide so here uh, solving complex problem we can go for the two way one is the experiment with the actual system actual system means it is possible so we can go for experiment with the model system uh, it may be the okay okay so model system also we can classify the two type one is that physical model prototype or mathematical model for uh, we want to avoid the entire physical thing we can go for the mathematical model so mathematical aspect i'm going for analytical solution as well as the numerical solution so numerical solution, we know definitely the second, third, fourth, fifth unit, everything gives the direct stiffness method. So we can solve everything. So analytical method, I can solve, if you want to solve the exact solution, uh, for the domain is very complicated, we can go for the approximate solution. So in the approximate solution, we have one, we have a variational method and also weighted residual method. Don't think our variational method, weighted residual method, Weighted residual method give exact result. It is also approximate solution. Okay. So already we have discussed yesterday weighted residual method. Now we are going to discuss about uh, so variational method, variational formulation, potential energy method, or it may be called as the Rayleigh's method. Okay. Now I am going to uh, talk about the linear form. Okay. So linear form, uh, linear form. So uh, simply we can uh, a one means that it may be define the constant a one plus a two x. So it may be give. So that is for the linear form. It may be give the so linear form. Okay. So next one is that. So two dimensional case we want to take x and y. So three dimensional case we want to take it as x y z. Okay. This is the way we can write so our linear form. So in FEA, uh, every time we are discussing about only one dimensional cases. So in first unit also, we are discussing more about the one dimensional case. It is also very easiest thing. Okay. Second, I'm going to next order that is for the linear, quadratic, cubic. Next one is the quartic and the fifth form is the quintic. So quartic, we can write it like this. A1, linear, uh, constant term. And next one is the linear form. Third one is the quartic form. So same kind of thing, we can write it as two-dimensional and a three-dimensional case. So if you write the polynomial function for uh, one-dimensional case, very, very easy. So now you understand. So a1 plus a2x plus a3x square. So definitely, uh, next one is the a4x cube, a5x power 4. Like uh, definitely we can understood what it will become in the next term. But the two-dimensional, three-dimensional case, it is very difficult what time will be comes next okay so that's why and now uh, you may guess so two dimensional case we can use the pascal's triangle and a three dimensional case we can use the tetra polygon i will talk about the later so next is the quadratic we can use for the cubic form a1 a2x a1 is the constant a2x is that linear form a3x square is there so quadratic form a4x cube is there so next i'm going for the cubic form Okay, so next step. So, one minute, sir.
Sorry for the interruption. One minute. Okay, sir. Uh, yes, I am audible, sir. Okay. So next, uh, the third thing that is a cubic form. So a one constant, a two x linear, a three x square quartic, a four x cube. That is a cubic form. Uh, in two dimensional and a three dimensional case, it is very difficult. So I will give a simple idea for how to formulate two dimensional and three dimensional cases. So Pascal's triangle definitely useful for so give that uh, how to write polynomial approximation in the two dimensional cases. So first one is the one that is for the constant term. Second one is the so here a1 plus a2x plus a3y we can write it as the three term that is the linear term for the 2D. So next we can write x means x square. We can multiply with the y term y square. So finally, you can multiply x and y, x, y. So finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it may be give the quadratic form order. Otherwise, I will explain a1 plus a2x plus a3y, a4x square, a5xy, a6y square. This is for the quadratic form. Now you have uh, some idea. So finally, you can write it as x square means x cube, y square means y cube. So x square into y y square into x finally you can take it as the 10 form for the 10 uh, equation for the cubic term this is for the 2d cases if the 3d cases we can use the pascal tetrahedron here you can write it as a1 is the constant if we consider x y z in the 3d cases so a1 plus a2 x plus a3 y plus a4 z this is the four term linear term next we can consider as that this whole term this is for the 10 term for the quadratic term so you can easily write it as so 2d and 3d cases now i am going to talk about the two cases now i am going to talk about the, uh, the two cases one is the structural problem and a non-structural problem structural problem and a non-structural problem so structural problem means uh, this is considered for the displacement at each nodal point and stress strain calculation so non-structural problem means that is for the scalar also temperature fluid pressure is in each nodal point okay so weighted residual method is useful for solving very much useful for solving a non-structural problem okay because of so everything we have to consider for the differential equation so equation everything we can easily solve in the weighted residual technique in that uh, uh, in that realistic method especially for the structural problem Definitely relatively it's useful for non-structural problem also. It is for that uh, mainly it's very useful for the structural problem. Okay. So so structural problem, we can go for the so our real rich method. Okay. So next uh, this is for that uh, very application, wide range of application. So FEA is uh, nowadays a research area, it is very hectic, but very interesting thing. So these are not that main application wherever. Uh, in you uh, can apply wherever in that uh, our automobile industries and medical uh, we can apply so many wide area of applications so now i'm going to start with uh, so development of finite element equation so first one is the direct method uh, direct method means the direct stiffness method so our matrix from that ma matrix we can solve everything okay uh, some of the disadvantage also there i will talk on later side so second thing, the reverter residual method, uh, especially for the uh, non-structural problems. Okay. So next, I'm going to talk about the variational formulation, potential energy, or realized method for my topic. Okay. So here, I'm going to uh, convey one thing, very important thing, minimum potential energy concept. Okay, so definitely we want to know about mathematical aspect of uh, what is meant by limits, what is meant by uh, calculus, and uh, what is meant by minima, maxima, and influx point, and extremum point. So it is also very free request is knowledge for understanding variational or so virtual work method. 
Uh, everybody know the virtual work means our strain energy is equal to work done. I will explain later on. So definitely, you may, you may understand. It is uh, not possible, I think so. Okay. So, variation method, I am going to just, you should remember that minimization of potential energy. I will talk later on. Slide. So, concept of potential energy, uh, if you are using direct fitness method for matrix formulation, it is not uh, applicable for all the problems, all the structural domain. So if there is a simplest type, we can take it as that stiffness, we can calculate everything, but it is not uh, suitable for all the problem. So and also uh, not practical for very higher order element and also normally used to be, it is not uh, normally used to for non-structural domain. Okay, so that's why definitely we want to go for that. The next thing, our realized method, okay. So uh, here uh, applicable for uh, linear elastic material and a variation method, and here we are going to use for the variational functionals. Okay, so these are the terms are very very important thing. I will explain. So what is mean by functional? So here we are going to use for the variational functionals in the so Rayleigh's method. What is mean by so functionals? Functional means function of another function is called functionals. Okay, for example, so everybody know the pi formula. Pi equal to U plus or minus W. Pi means that is what the total potential energy. U means the strain energy. W means work done. The plus or minus. The plus or minus denotes so many things. I will explain later. So the function of another function is called functional. Here the pi is function of the another function. That's why it is called as functional. We are going to use the functional approach for the realized rich method. It is the very fundamental thing. You should aware of that thing. So next I will explain one by one. So in structural problem, uh, our pi, it is a function, so this is for the, uh, here the uh, structural problem, the displacement is that unknown thing. So this is for the one of the function, is the function of function is called uh, our pi value. So finally, our uh, stiffness value, our equation, finite element equation, F equal to KU. Here I'm going to apply for the total minimization of uh, potential energy concept. I will be get the final order. Okay, so I will explain. Just to you understand what is the functional. That's why I explained these things. Function of another function is called a function. Pi is the functional because of it is the function of another function. Okay. So I will talk about with the example. Definitely you may understand everything. Okay. So next one is then. So next I'm going to talk about uh, what is meant by derivative. T by by dx. Everybody know uh, the very fundamental thing. If I'm going to consider one slope. Uh, it is that give some real time example. I'm going to take it as one of the slope. So this is I'm going to take it as sum of the function. It is for the one of the function x comma y, otherwise f of x. So I'm going to uh, make one difference. I make uh, derivative. I'm going to take derivative. The derivative value give the tangent point of the uh, curve. Otherwise, it is for the slope of the curve. This is the very very basic fundamental thing very very basic fundamental thing so the derivative gives that uh, functions slope okay so the same concept i'm going to apply in our potential energy concept okay so here just to you carefully read equilibrium is stable the states uh, the stationary value is minimum okay so just to understand what is meant by uh, d by dx differential equation differential equation give the slope of our function slope of our curve okay later on slide i will give some idea with real time just to understand what is the derivative derivative give the slope of the function okay so next i'm going to talk about um some real time things so a yeah, necessary condition for a yeah, local minimum or maximum uh, local minimum or local minimum means for example uh, you consider this is my function so you can consider if I'm going to take for the derivative, so definitely it will be give that our maximum. Okay, it may be the maximum. Here in that function, this is also maximum. In that function, this is also maximum. So it is called as local maximum or local minimum here. Okay, so just I just I'm talking about uh, maximum. If you want to consider about that uh, uh, minimum, you can take it as the curve like that. This is for the local, uh, this is the minimum value. This is for the local minimum value. Okay. Just to understand what I am saying. So next further on slide, you can understand what concept, 
how I am going to take it is this concept to our potential energy. Okay, so this is the way a local minimum or maximum concepts are very important. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about um, so stable equilibrium. Uh, everybody know this is for the second order. Okay, this is for the second order. So why we are using for the second order to determine whether the point is minimum or maximum. So one may use the second derivative test. For example, uh, I will give some layman language for this is my uh, curve. Okay, I'm going to take uh, this is as my curve. Okay, so I'm going to make one differentiation. So it will be give so differentiate and this is also a uh, slope for the particular function. This is also slope for the particular function. Okay, just carefully understand. This is a very fundamental thing. So definitely it will be very useful for solving Rayleigh's method. So okay, so here uh, this is also uh, this is the two things also slope. Okay, so this is for that maximum value. This gives the minimum value. This is this gives the minimum value. Here, um, how I can find out which which one is the maximum, which one is the minimum. So that's why we are talk about we are talk about second derivative test. Take a second derivative test. So the, from the second derivative test, we can understand whether our slope is the minimum or maximum. Okay, so here stable equilibrium our second derivative will be greater than zero okay i will compare with some uh, pictorial, repres pictorial representation definitely you can understand this is the uh, very familiar diagram so i'm going to consider this is for the stable okay just you understand here it may be comes down okay it may be the comes down so it may be uh, for consider and this is uh, one of the mass so it comes uh, in that particular position so it will be stable this position is there. So our equilibrium position, this position is the equilibrium position. I'm going to stable, it may be move like that. Uh, for I'm going to compare with our function. So this is for the slope. So here I'm going to take this is for the slope. This is for the minimum. This is for the maximum. Okay, this is for the maximum. Okay, for uh, and this is uh, if you take dy by dx first derivative test, so the two value also the first derivative. Second, I'm going to find out which one is the stable equilibrium. Definitely we want to go for the second derivative. So second derivative view, so which one is the minimum and which one is the maximum. If second derivative, the value, if it is positive, definitely it will be the minimum. This is for the stable condition and it is the equilibrium condition. That's why in every problem we are taking so that is the T by dx concept. I will explain one by one. So second thing, if it is the uh, d square by dx square, uh, if it is take uh, example, I'm going to take for that uh, maximum position, the value will be the less than zero. Value will be the, so less than zero. Okay, this is the very important thing. So uh, d square by dx square, if it is equal to zero, if it is the equal to zero, uh, this is for the stable position. Uh, it is not possible in the cases. Okay. So further on slide, I will give some more ideas about uh, what is the derivative and the functionals. Okay. So next, uh, um, so for example, uh, this is for the unstable. So unstable, the second derivative, so definitely it may be given the less than zero value. It is for the unstable equilibrium condition. Okay. So next, uh, uh, second, I'm going to take it is for, uh, take it, uh, the second thing stable. So second thing is stable. This is for the stable condition. So our value will be, the second derivative will be the equal to zero. This is the equilibrium condition. This is for the local minimum, okay? So next one is there. So I'm going to answer for the neutral equilibrium. It does not exist, okay? This is, it does not exist. It's also called indefinite or marginally stable, okay? So next one is that, so I'm going to talk about our uh, important thing. What is meant by potential energy and what is strain energy and the work done. So we can take it as uh, this is not pi equal to u plus w. Sometimes it may become uh, pi u minus w. But uh, in a first unit, whenever I teach uh, FEA, uh, otherwise student, whenever uh, study about the FEA first unit, every time we will take it as that minus function. Because of the same concept, uh, for example, uh, in uh, thermodynamics, uh, work done on the system, work done by the system, that is the same concept only I'm going to take it here, okay? Work done on the system, that minus work done by the system plus, like that, you can understand this 
plus or minus okay the u means that is the potential energy potential i mean sorry phi is the potential energy uh, u means you can consider as the strain energy you can consider as the strain energy i will talk with the our stress strain diagram definitely you can understand what is the strain energy and is the second one is the uh, w that is for the work done whether work done on the system or work done by the system we will talk is not available sir uh depends upon uh, sir whether it is visible yes sir your sir? ppt is visible sir ah, okay okay some participants asked uh, it's not visible sir, so no okay, ppt no is available sir only audio is uh, receiving sir Sir, uh, hello participants. Uh, a kind request is that please pin Pravaharan presentation. There will be two things will be there. One will be his audio, another thing will be his presentation. Participants, please pin the presentation to your window so that if someone else presents the screen, also you will not get deviated. Pin the presentation, please. Okay, Pravaharan, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, sorry, sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. okay next i am going to talk about strain energy and work done so depends upon our cases i will talk where we want to put plus where we want to uh, put minus okay so, so second cases this is the strain energy and work done uh, i will give some pictorial representation it give more clarity so next i am going to talk about so what is the minimum uh, potential energy principle uh, the extremum condition is the minimum the equilibrium state is stable so uh, from that uh, um uh, one minute so from that uh, uh so from that you uh, that diagram representation the curve representation only you can understand so what i am saying so here the extremum condition is a minimum the equilibrium state is stable so dy by dx you can take it as the derivative of the slope the second derivative test it is the greater than zero definitely it may be give the yeah, that is for the stable that is the equilibrium state Okay, so I will uh, talk more clear in that. So later on slides. So just to keep you watch the work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry to sorry to interrupt, sir. Many of the participants are not aware of how to pin the presentation, sir. I will share yeah. my screen and I will give a demo, sir. Two minutes, sir. Two minutes. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. you will not have any problem. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So participants, can you see my screen now? My screen is getting yes, visible. So, yeah, yes. Yes. Uh, in this, you can see here. Here is it is his audio presentation. Audio here is here. Audio is here is with his face as a thumbnail. Here it is the presentation is there. So you can click here. This is the icon here. Pin to screen. So once you are clicking this, this presentation will be here. it will not be getting deviated even someone is presenting also you will not be getting deviated so please go through this uh, prabhar and sir you can stop hi ah, yes, sir and we can present your screen yeah yeah uh, okay, participant sir. please now now pin the screen sir pin presentation prabhar and presentation to your screen so that you will not have any deviations or uh, someone else presents also you not uh, you not be getting that disturbance so the prabhan sorry for interrupting ah, okay. thank you yeah no no problem sir whether i am okay now i am audible yes sir yeah, yeah yes 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 it's no. clearly visible sir clearly no. okay sir okay so participant you can watch uh, this is very very important concept the first unit is very difficult also just i will share again so uh, for uh, from that uh, the curve uh, i am going to take it as the curve so this is for the minimum so in the minimum state so the minimum position so this is for the dy by dx it may be defined the slope d square by dx square the greater than zero means that our state is stable and this is for the equilibrium okay so i will uh, i will explain with the next concept so rayleigh rich method so there is a need for systematic and general way for obtaining k it is not a direct stiffness method this is the relative method we can get the general way so second thing i am going to consider for the entire domain as the piece wise form okay that's just for uh, polynomial form means i can increase my order okay so and also i am going to consider as the functional functional means it is the function of function 
pi is the f of x comma y means it is the functional one function is called the functional it is for the pi our potential energy okay so and also uh, definitely we were, we want to aware of what is the strong form and the weak form from that definitely you can understand some uh, you can get more clear strong form means differential equation are said to study a problem in a strong form okay weak form means integral expression such as a functional which is implicitly contains a differential equation is called a weak form that is the functional okay uh, if it is uh, how i can explain uh, if i am going to solve one problem uh, just you assume the first unit problem i am going to take it as uh, some uh, uh, trial function whether the polynomial or trigonometric function after that we will apply the pi equal to u minus w or u plus w use the strain energy we will get uh, uh, from the strain energy uh, we will take somewhat zero to l domain ea by 2 something uh, uh, in that uh, function we have a d square over by dx square one of the differential equation that is for the function of function okay i will explain clearly once again the interest uh, the integral expression such as a functional which is implicitly contain a differential equation so just you remember your strain energy formula ea by 2 integral of 0 to l the it is one of the another function discovered by dx square that is for the weak form so in real energy method we are going to consider as the functional approach that is very very important thing okay so next uh, this is the basic thing uh, definitely you may aware of that so polynomial equation and uh, this is for the linear form that is for that uh, sorry a1 is the constant up to a to x linear so quadratic cubic and that is for the quartic if i am going to write a6 x power 5 that is for the quintic form okay if i am going to talk about the trigonometry function and also uh, already uh, i will prove um, compared to the polynomial function the trigonometry function value will be very very accurate definitely everybody uh, solved in first unit problem definitely we can, from the result we can understand the trigonometry result will be higher so next uh, one thing is the important and also uh, the last uh, yesterday session also i had some of the question how to take the trial function trial function is there so million dollar question it is only by means of experience only we can write the trial function it is very very tedious okay so de definitely we want to solve more problem for uh, our uh, that is for that jalaluddin uh, and then some of the books uh very very simple problem we can take it as a very very simple logical trial functions okay but if it is complicated we want to consider as the so variety of trial function so here uh, for uh, trigonometry function the first term is the a1 sin pi x pi l a2 sin 3 pi x pi l, a3 sin 5 pi x pi l okay so next uh, um if uh, i'm going to explain what is the sine function okay why we are taking sine function why we can take cos function what is the logic behind of it like that i am going to talk about here i am going to uh, talk about one uh, simple uh, cantilever beam uh, for example this is my uh, uh, sorry simply i am going to take it as a simply supported beam definitely if you apply that work i mean i am going to apply for that force definitely it may be give a uh, deflection like that okay so, uh, so this is for the, the function of sine this is shows that is our sine function and also we can easily define with mathematical term uh, this is my uh, domain so i am going to take it as x equal to 0 x equal to l otherwise i am going to 0 degree this is for that i am going to take it for as 180 degree this is for the 5 by 2 this is for the 90 degree our function is a sin pi x by l i can substitute my zero so sine zero i mean zero so that attraction value will be zero in the first position the second thing i'm going to apply the l so l into l so definitely the sine pi value will be the zero the whole value will be zero the particular point deflection value will be zero whether it is the 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi you can take the everything the sine function will be give the zero if you take the particular pi by 2 i'm going to take this this is for the particular position uh, i'm going to take it as the l by 2 i'm going to instead of uh, the l x i'm going to apply for the l by 2 and uh, l cancel by by 2 90 degree it may be give the maximum value so definitely our uh, deflection will be the maximum this is the logic behind of it so for example i'm going to consider as one of the cantilever beam okay i'm going to consider cantilever beam definitely everybody know that our deflection will be maximum in uh, uh, maximum at x at x equal to l i mean 
uh, you can understand this is for the zero the entire domain length l so wherever the x equal to l so the deflection will be maximum if you substitute x equal to l so again the sine function will be comes to the zero so definitely this function is not suitable for our time delivery problem that's why we are going for the cost function okay we are going for the cost function in the can deliver b just you understand the basic concept so definitely you will be get the clear idea about that further slide okay so these all are the very very fundamental things so if you understand these things definitely we can solve all problems with the technical way okay so next i am going to give some idea about the uh, trigonometric equation as the cost function and the trial function uh, we can take it as o equal to ax x minus n uh, just uh, for a student's point of view, just I uh, gave some subject way. So you can take it as this, this is the familiar type function for our all problems. Okay. So can deliver. This is the one of the function. You can take it as any function in the class. Okay. But you should be satisfied the boundary condition because of or I am going to take it as if you take it as the boundary value problem, definitely it may be satisfy the boundary values. Okay. So yesterday we have discussed what is the boundary value problem and initial value problem. That is the very key thing for the solving mathematical aspect. So second thing, uh, for solving problems in students point of view, a very few formula, it is that very, very simple formula. So what is the uh, differentiation for the sine cos and what is the, uh, the uh, integral form for sine cos? It is very, very uh, useful for solving all problems in our syllabus point of view. And also, uh, this is the basic thing comes from our strength of material, our beam equation, this is for the fourth order. So again, you should remember one technical term. What is, uh, this is for the fourth order. What is meant by fourth order? The derivative, fourth derivative, what it express, it is for the logical behind of it. Okay, from the E epsilon rigidity, E x small s, moment of inertia, or done, these all the things very, very familiar. But that what is the fourth term? If I'm going to consider as the Y, this is for the, everybody know that is for the deflection. I'm going to take as the first derivative, dy by dx. So it may be give that slope value. I'm going to take again, so d square y by dx square, it may be give that. So bending moment, bending moment for that point load. So I'm going to take for that uh, third derivative, we can find out the shear force. I'm going to take for, for the fourth derivative, we can take it as the bending moment for the UDL cases. This is the way that express the fourth order. Okay, our beam equation from the long derivation in the strength of material, we have derived, we have derived Ea d per 4 by dx power minus w equal to zero. Okay, and the second thing I'm going to consider as that, uh, if you want to find out bending moment in that, you are simply supported or can't deliver, you can use that simple formula, Ea get the second derivative, uh, d square by dx square. Okay, if it is that uh, simply supported beam, our uh, uh, logical thing, we will be maximum in the center. So we will take y max, y max at the rate of x equal to L by 2. Okay, this is the important and key idea for solving problems. Okay, so next, uh, so I'm going to talk uh, trigonometry. So this is the simple key. For the uh, simply supported beam, we can take it as the trigonometry polynomial approximation. Uh, the both is uh, both the way we can solve the simply supported beam. Okay, so if we can deliver beam, uh, we want to take here sine function. Here we definitely we want to go with the cosine function. Then only we will be get the value. And a fixed beam and a bar element we can take it as the polynomial. It is that very easy approach to solving problem with the uh, some differential equation. Uh, this is the very fundamental and key thing for solving your uh, relative problems. Okay, so next I am going to uh, give some basic formulas uh, definitely these formulas are very useful for solving on the problems next uh, i'm going to give some standard results for all the beam if it is that uh, say this is for the cantilever beam with point load the bending moment definitely it may become so p into l p into l this is for the bending moment so next one is that so simply supported with the point load p l by four okay so next one is that so if it is the uh, uniform distributor load in simply supported w l square by a if it is uniform distributor load with the point the point load w l square by a p l by four so all the things are derived from our SOM concept. All the things are derived from our SOM concept. So why we are going for FEA? So this is the standard formula already available. Why we need to solve problem in FEA? Why we are using Weyler-Rich method? 
so uh, it may be give the overall result of bending moment and the deflection and the stress value if you want to find out the uh, your known point your unknown point or especially especially for that particular point definitely we want to go for the piece wise polynomial if i am going to find out the particular point i want to find out the deflection in the particular uh, Uh, 2D section. I want to find out that uh, a particular element. I want to find out the stresses. Definitely, we want to go for discretization missing. So, uh, begin of the missing discretization. What is going the mathematical function differential equation? Everything the basic for our analytical solution. Okay. So these are the are uh, very standard results. Okay. So for I am going to take this is for the cantilever beam. Point load uh, strain energy uh, E A by two integral of the whole domain zero T L. So second derivative the whole square function of functional. Okay, this square by D for the whole square D X. Work means this is for the P into deflection. I mean force into deflection. Uh, I can take it as Newton meter. That is the work done. Here I am going to take this is for the cantilever. So deflection will be more in that end of that uh, section. So at X equal to L. At X equal to L at x equal to L. So next one is there. So next one is there. The uh, second thing I am going to consider. This is for the cantilever beam with U D L. So this is the form E A by two divided by zero to L. Describe the distance of the square D S. Here the U D L I am going to consider the whole domain. So whole domain definitely I am going to consider for the integral. So W into so deflection. Okay. So next is simply supported beam. This is the standard uh, U and the W. So this is for the standard result. So if you solve, you are using Rayleigh's method. Your result will be coming like that. Okay. If you exactly approaches this y value, our approximation, our uh, assumptions, everything will be correct. If it is, we can approach. So we have a still error. So only possible way. We can improve the order of polynomial. Otherwise, if you are trigonometric function, we want to go with the second thing. I mean, yes, if you are following yes and uh, by x by l, we want to go for a to sin three by x by l. If you improve the polynomial order, your result will be approached. Okay. So finally, we can approach as the so some y value. Okay. We will discuss with real time application. So this all the standard formula. If it is the simply supported UDL, so definitely you will be get the y value. Simply supported point load, you will be get the value. So finally, it is for that bar element, you will be considered as the sulfide. Okay. So that time we want to consider strain energy work done in the somewhat different way. What is the forces and the deflection? We will discuss in the later. Okay. With a, a problem, we will discuss. So next, uh, um, uh, if you instead of solving strictly our First unit problem. Firstly, we want to understand a very basic problem. What is the potential energy concept? Then only it will be very useful for useful for solving our problems. Okay. So I am going to consider this is for the one of the spring element. Okay. So spring element we can solve both the way. Well, first one is that we can solve the direct stiffness way method. I mean we can take it as the stiffness matrix K K K K. So like that we can solve the problem. Otherwise, I can solve with analytical way. I will explain both the way. It may be give some clear idea about potential potential energy concept. Okay. So here this is the mass. Mass I am going to take it as the. You don't want to bother about the bounds. It will be bounds inches. Just you can consider as the value. Don't want to consider about units. So I am going to m into g. So this is for the weight. W equal to m into g. So it will be give the weight. So here it has the some stiffness value. So I'm going to talk about the three things here. What is meant by potential energy? What is meant by strain energy? What is meant by so work done? I'm going to discuss with that. So next things. So here, uh, how we can calculate the force? Everybody know. So here I'm going to take it as the k into x. Okay, here that is for the stiffness into x. I can find out. The, I mean Newton. I mean Newton per meter. X is the displacement meter. Finally, you will be get the force. Okay, so I hope you can understand very clear. So next, uh, so if I am going to take it as the strain energy concept, um, this is the basic graph. Definitely give more clarity about our uh, strain energy concept. So here I am going to take it as um, one minute. Uh, okay. So here this is for the applied force. This is for the exist the deflection. If a force improve, the deflection will be improved up to one point. That is for the elastic limit. Uh, we know about Coulomb's uh, law. So from that, I am going to take it as one area. The area gives the strain energy. 
okay so here i'm going to this is the triangle so triangle i can take it as the area of into b h i'm going to take it as the b equal to x so here i'm going to uh, for example uh, i'm going to take it as the x okay so here this is the, the applied force so applied force we know so stiffness into displacement k into x so the, our value breadth x kx into x so finally the value here i'm going to apply v equal to x so i'm going to apply h equal to force equal to kx so half here half so finally we will be get the so half into kx square sin energy so finally x into x or x square finally you will be get the value for half into kx square just you understand clearly so definitely it will be it will give more clarity about potential energy okay so here so i will explain once again so force stiffness into displacement so i just you see this graph so force kx and x so this is the triangle half into big h kx into x strain energy stored in the element is that half into kx square okay now so next i'm going to talk about the work done so work done on the system so on the system i am going to take it as the minus i'm going to apply the force to the system so that is for the minus so work i'm going to take it as the force so here this is for the force newton in the, this is for the deflection newton meter newton meter this is for the work done okay work done on the system i'm going to take it as the minus okay minus very 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 important work done on the system okay so this is for the force and the deflection newton meter this is our work done okay so this is our work done i'm going to apply for potential energy concept here okay so we know we know, we know that so potential energy of the system is equal to i equal to u plus w okay so here u equal to strain energy of kx into x kx square w equal to force into distance force into deflection mg into x okay uh, don't say distance deflection so very uh, large difference the other in deflection distance okay so deflection mg into x mg means i'm going to take uh, this is the logical thing so here this is for the minus on the system so instead of x uh, k value we know that k value is thousand and the weight value 2000 i'm going to apply instead of k thousand and uh, the mg means that is that weight i'm going to apply for the 2000 this is a uh, two and this is the 500 x square so this is for the 2000 x pi equal to something this is a functional uh, this is a functional function so finally the pi will be arrived 500 x square minus 2000 x here i am going to apply our minimum potential energy concept i'm going to where it is stable i'm going to find out the where stable neutral i'm going to apply for my so derivative i'm going to take the first derivative so t by by dx so 500 here this is the only one single variable that's why i'm going to take the direct differentiation our point of view if it is the different variable definitely we will go for the partial differential equation tau by, by tau x just you understand the mathematical particle concept definitely it will be at the your basic technical skill okay right so i'm going to take it as the stable equilibrium i'm going to take it as the first derivative 500 x square so here i thousand x minus 2000 equal to zero this is for the stable equilibrium i don't know whether it is the minimum or maximum so now i'm going to take it as so from that you can easily find out thousand x equal to two thousand so if a spring is displaced to two okay the spring is displaced to two it is the stable equilibrium i'm going to find out whether minimum or maximum that's just i hope just you can uh, guess what is the formula what is the derivative test so second derivative test give you more idea okay so now i'm going to take it as that um a second derivative test this is for the so five one thousand x uh, minus 2000 equal to zero i'm going to take it as uh, second derivative uh, second derivative so d square uh, d square by by so d square by by tx square so uh, d, sorry dx d square by by tx square okay so 1000x minus 2000 equal to zero so finally uh, 2000 zero here it will be the thousand so definitely d square so d square by dx square greater than zero greater than zero so our uh, position is the minimum position okay so this is the way you can find out whether it is that minimum or maximum whether it is the minimum or
maximum. Okay. So here this is for that. I'm going to apply. So you found the x equal to two. I'm going to apply x equal to two here. x equal to 2 here so pi equal to total potential energy we have found out something value okay so here our work done on the system will be higher than our strain energy okay so solution uh, okay the potential energy curve of the spring mass system function of the displacement yes sure so next i'm going to take it as the second derivative already we have found 1000 it will be the greater than zero so definitely it is the minimum position it is the stable equilibrium condition this concept is we have taken for our all the problems in our first unit realities method it is very very fundamental thing i hope you have understand very clear so next um 500 x square minus 2000 x so i'm going i'm going to give some uh, excel graph it will be give uh, still you have a more idea about uh, what is the minimum potential energy condition if 500 x square minus 2000 x this is our value I'm going to uh, apply our x value. If you have apply x value here, so x zero, uh, x zero pi equal to zero. If you apply, so you will be get the pi equal to zero. If you apply one, you will be get one one. So 500 minus 2000 minus 1500, you will be get the sum of the value. If you put the two two, so here two means 4000. Two square two square means four. 4 into 500, 2000, 2000 minus 2000, this is, you may get the sum of the value, okay. So, uh, minus 2000, again, I am going to apply further, more value, 3, 4, 5, so, you definitely, one time, you will be get the slope, one time, you will be get the slope, that position is the stable, and uh, that is for the, a result for the minimum potential energy equilibrium condition this is for the our equilibrium condition okay so finally so this is the two so you can understand so already you got that value two in that uh, previous uh, mathematical relation so finally just you have found a two here this two will be occurring the minimum okay two will be occurring the stable condition okay whether it is a minimum or maximum we can find out by means of second derivative test okay so this is the very fundamental uh, this is the logical thing behind of your real risk method okay so now we can uh, this, uh, up to that definitely we want to strong then only we can solve our problems otherwise we can solve the problem uh, without understanding the technical concept okay uh, these are the things are very uh, similar i think so i will be recall uh, how it apply in that uh, this is the very very higher order problems okay so how it is applicable so i will explain one by one i will explain one by one okay so here i'm going to take it as uh, i'm going to take it as this is for the uh, uh, simply supported beam with the point load i'm going to assume approach uh, this is for the polynomial approximation uh, this is for the uh, linear i'm going to take it as this is for the three term polynomial student don't confuse uh, the three term means you want to take a1 a2 x a3 x square and also constant linear uh, this is for the quadratic form this is for the quadratic or three term form okay so uh, i'm going to definitely this is you uh, simply supported the sign for the sign wave uh, you want to take the sign function uh, if uh, x equal to zero if you apply x equal to zero and x equal to l definitely you will be get the y value so boundary value will be satisfied okay so this is the basic formula okay i'm going to apply the force on the system so minus u minus w this is of the basic formula from that is so we can take it as that uh, and just i have taken directly okay so i'm going to apply the boundary condition uh, a1 equal to zero so you will be get that a2 value so finally um, i can substitute my a1 a2 value in my y value i mean this is for the trial function polynomial trial function i can get that y equal to in terms of something a3 coefficient x square minus lx so I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, just uh, my intention, I want to find out, so U under W. So I need a second derivative. I'm going to differentiate this Y value into two times. So finally, I'm going to get the 2A3 is the D square Y by DX square. Okay. So I'm going to substitute U in that uh, strain energy formula. Uh, finally, this is my value. So this is for the work done, the P into Y max. So this is for the point load. So what are the force acting under deflection? So this, I'm going to apply, this is the simply supported beam. My, uh, I'm going to find out uh, deflection in L by two position. It is not L by two position. You can take it as any value, 
but if you put l by 2 you can compare your exact result that's why i have taken for x equal to l by 2 okay so here uh, you can find out your w value just uh, now i have found a u and w i i am going to substitute my potential i mean pi equal to your function of functional that is a pi value so you will be get one value here i am going to again apply my potential this is up to that very logical thing very the, the basic differentiation and the fundamental integration i am going to apply my logical thing so to pay pay um, uh, here uh, you can take it as one minute uh, here i am going to apply my uh, condition here the unknown to a3 i am going to uh, differentiate the term by the variable as a3 so uh, after that differentiation uh, i don't want to explain more it is very easy so from the differentiation you will be get your a3 unknown so if you find a3 already we know y equal to a3 x square minus lx you can substitute a y value and uh, instead of x this is my portion x equal to l by 2 definitely you can find out your y value uh, from that uh, long calculation i got i got my answer as so y my y max equal to pl cube by 64 ei but we aware of our sym concept our result accurate result will be plq by 48 gi so is there any way to improve uh, definitely we have a idea for improve the polynomial order just i have take three term quadratic i got plq 64 gi if you improve the polynomial definitely your error will be so reduce you can get the exact exact solution if i want to discuss more about error Uh, sometimes if we improve the polynomial order uh, polynomial order definitely it may be give some error okay if you want to talk about error we want to talk about uh, more th more thing about what is the functional error domain error uh, it is a very uh, vast topic just you understand if you uh, improve uh, the polynomial order definitely uh, definitely give more exact result sometimes it will be give more error okay so we we want to aware of uh, aware of uh, the convergence study okay the convergence study so it may be give that uh, what position it attain the exact result okay no. so another thing uh, um, another uh, hello sir another thing i am going to compare the second problem uh, with uh, this is the polynomial approach okay so the same problem i am going to solve by using the so trigonometry definitely I already proved that trigonometry function gives the more accurate result than the polynomial order. Okay, so polynomial order here. I'm going to take it as the sine. This is the uh, simply supported beam. Sine function is applicable. I'm going to take it as the trial function. Uh, but if you take the uh, one term is very difficult. If you take two or three, very very tedious. Without computer help, we can definitely solve these problems in analytical way. So we equal to a one sine pi x pi l. i am going to apply my both boundary condition as uh, x equal to 0 and x equal to l so it uh, just you want to check your boundary condition satisfied or not it satisfied i am going to apply my uh, very uh, easy formula by equal to u minus w so u equal to ea by 2 integral of 0 to l d square by d square the whole square dx very basic thing i am going to take the first term a sin pi x pi l i am going to differentiate this thing Uh, because of I want to know uh, d square by d x square. Okay, so I have found that d square by d x square has this value. I'm going to uh, definitely you can find out how much strain energy. Okay, how much strain energy stored in the body. So what is the force applied? So uh, very very basic things. Uh, I don't want to explain much clear. Okay, I will give some simple idea. Zero to L our domain. This is the value. Okay, here this is for the sine square x. So one minus cos two x by two. This is the basic formula if you have applied that uh, formula definitely you will be get some idea so finally you will be get u equal to uh, u equal to a square pi power four ea by 4l cube next i am going to find ordan i mean ordan on the system so p into y max i am going to take it as so i am going to find out my areas at x equal to l by 2 So work done. We can find out. Okay. So I'm going to subtract uh, potential strain energy minus work done. Definitely, you can find out your potential energy. If it is in the case our strain energy is equal to our work done, it may be considered as our virtual effect. Okay. That is for the virtual work. Virtual work. It is not possible. I think so. Some some energy may be stored. Okay. So in that uh, this is for the assumption. Okay. Um, so if it is. Uh, 
other mean in the thermodynamics transfer pmm one two three are two are not possible like that the virtual effect if u equal to w it may be called as the virtual work so okay from that uh, w you just uh, i have i got uh, p into a so finally this is the important time this is related to our topic i'm going to apply again the potential energy i'm going to find out where it is stable where it is at the equilibrium condition i'm going to find out that first derivative test so you can find out those values okay from that you can find out the a and then a i'm going to apply in the my trial function a sin pi x pi l instead of x i'm going to apply my convenient portion i'm going to take it l by 2 because i'm going to compare with my exact solution finally i will be uh, get pl cube by 48 by 0.7 ea but everybody know so answer is pl cube by 48 ea so compared to polynomial order our trigonometry function is then very very uh, it gives that higher approach, i mean a very exact result if you want to improve this result so definitely i hope you have guessed that answer definitely we need to improve the uh, definitely we need to improve the terms of trigonometry function okay so this is the one term if you improve further two term three term definitely it may be give the uh, your accurate results okay so next thing um, so further i am going to just uh, one or two minutes i will revise this very important and very confusing topic i will uh, recall within two minutes what i have discussed here so first i have discussed what is finite element analysis why we are going finite element analysis what free request is knowledge needed so mathematical concept is very very important for solving unit one problems okay uh, second thing i have discussed about what is meant by what, what is meant by derivative what is the differentiation integration what is the derivative if a dy by dx means it gives the slope of the function okay so the slope of the function means it may be maximum or it may be the minimum from the second derivative test only we can understand whether it is the local, uh, minimum or maximum uh, apart from that we want to understand what is the extremum point inflection point what is the local minimum or local minimum everything is beginning of mathematical aspect so okay, don't confuse so just uh, from the two tests definitely we can understand whether it is the maximum or minimum so i hope that spring problem only give uh, a clear idea about rayleigh's method so this is also it is not available in yeah, definitely it may be uh, it, it may be sorry sorry it may be uh, it get okay it will be give more clear idea okay second derivative test you can understand whether it is the minimum or maximum so the curve shows uh, definitely you under just we got two in that uh, mathematical aspect that two denotes the slope and the minimum position okay so from that you can easily understand so and also if you understand up to this slide the concept definitely we can solve any problem in the further uh, our engineering problem in the first unit whether it is the simply supported or uh, can deliver or fixed bar element or bar element so everything we can solve using the railways method and also i have discussed uh, this is more suitable for structural problems more suitable for structural problems okay weight traditional uh, more suitable for that uh, it may be solved for the differential equation we can go for the domain wise so we can uh, go for weight traditional technique okay and also i have discussed uh, what is the logical behind of sin pi x pi l so sin pi x pi l means that is the uh, if we have applied the force so it may be due that sign function so definitely we can go for the sign in the cantilever beam we can go for the cos function that is also very important thing and also if we have uh, taken a uh, bar element uh, you want to consider sulfite sulfite every everybody aware of the ranches uh, wherever you go for that bar element you want to give as input as density you want to consider sulfite from that uh, just uh, we have a u formula w formula you can solve and also i have discussed uh, uh, two things uh, what is the u plus w and u minus w work on the system and uh, work by the system that concept also very much useful okay so uh, second thing uh, very logical things so and uh, also the differentiation integration also uh, very very basic thing okay so from that uh, i'm going to wind up my lecture if you have any queries you can ask uh, chat box i'm ready to answer you um and also uh, the students find a few uh, you want to cover the two thing in the first unit first one is the so first one is the uh, 
first one is the uh, weight of the stool method, second one is the realized method. It is uh, a technical by exam point of view, it is very, very important. Uh, what I say, a few questions are every time tedious. Definitely, we want to understand the concept, then only we can uh, solve the first unit problem. Otherwise, uh, the first unit problems are very tedious compared to all other problems. So, okay, thank you. Uh, on behalf of uh, first, I would like to thank the coordinator. Uh, who gave the wonderful opportunity to me deliver, uh, I mean, I share my idea to all the participants and allowable students. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. I don't know if you can get a lot of Hello? Uh, hello. So thank you, uh, Mr. Prabhagaran. Uh, thank you for your presentation regarding that variational approach in the finite element method. So I think uh, today's uh, participants may get the knowledge about the variational approach and how to solve the problems and what are the basic uh, uh, methodology and principle behind that. So everything is uh, uh, clear, explained by very clearly. OK, so uh, thank you for your approach. So I thank uh, thank you for participants so for attending and uh, for the entire session. So if you have any specific doubt, uh, you can unmute your mic and you can ask questions to Mr. Prabhakar. Otherwise, you can post your questions in the chat box. Hello, Mr. Babar. Uh, Mr. Sunil Tavaskar asked one question regarding that uh, when x equal to 2 pi and value becomes 0, but how to get uh, 2000 in the graph? <laughs> Ah, yes, uh, sir, when x equal to 2 pi value becomes 0, but uh, we can simple differentiation only. So we can do the simple differentiation, but definitely the value will come wherever the stable. So wherever the, wherever the stable equilibrium condition, you will be get the first derivative. The second derivative definitely it may be give greater than 0 value. The trial function equation y a x minus 10 Oh, yes. Uh, the trial function, okay. 
இந்த ஏ ஒய் ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ எக்ஸ் மைனஸ் டென் அப்படின்னு ஒரு ட்ரையல் ஃபங்க்ஷன் கேட்டிருந்தீங்க இல்லையா அது வந்து ஜஸ்ட் ஐ கேவ் ஒன் சிம்பிள் எக்ஸாம்பிள் நம்மளுடைய ஃபெமிலியர் ப்ராப்ளம் அது வந்து வெயிட்டர் டெஸ்டிவலாக இருக்கட்டும் இதுக்கு இருக்கட்டும் அந்த ப்ராப்ளம் வெயிட்டர் டெஸ்டிவல் தான் நம்ம மேக்ஸிமம் யூஸ் பண்ணியிருப்போம் அந்த டென்ன்ற கான்ஸ்டன்ட் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் அப்பான் த ப்ராப்ளத்தை பொறுத்து வி வாண்ட் டு சேஞ்ச் நம்மளுடைய ப்ராப்ளத்தை பொறுத்து நம்ம அதை வந்து சேஞ்ச் பண்ணிடுவோம் கண்டிப்பாக அதை சேஞ்ச் பண்ணணும் ஒய் கொண்டு ஏ எக்ஸ்பென்ஸ் டென்னாக இருக்கலாம் ஃபைவாக இருக்கலாம் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் அப்பான் த ப்ராப்ளம் வி வாண்ட் டு டேக் த ட்ரையல் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ட்ரையல் ஃபங்க்ஷன் இஸ் வெரி வெரி டீடியஸ் ஒன் டெஃபினெட்லி வி நீட் மோர் எக்ஸ்போசர் If you have any doubt, you can comment, I will answer. Because of, uh, compared to all other units, the first unit is uh, purely mathematical concept. Definitely, we want to understand maximum, minima concept, limits, calculus, differentiation, and integration. So, what is mean by difference between partial derivative and uh, normal differentiation? what is my differential equation everything very mandatory to understand so a feedback link attendance link will be shared only uh, comment uh, google meet comment box it won't transfer in your uh, whatsapp group So we have shared uh, uh, feedback link and attendance link in the Google chat box and also YouTube link. You can check and you can complete the feedback and attendance as early as possible. It will be enabled up to 15 minutes. In WhatsApp group, we will not post it, sir, because uh, it is attendance and feedback. It's only to evaluate your, uh, your present presence in the uh, webinar. So we will not share in WhatsApp group. So you either you can uh, get a link in the Google Meet or uh, any uh, in YouTube link. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. If you have any doubt, you can comment it, I will answer. So, and also, uh, after we have a hands-on session also there, don't miss it. Definitely, you may get an idea beginning of finite term analysis. And then one question, where do we use plus and where do we use minus total potential energy? If we have applied, to, applied force to the system, definitely it may be that minus. potential i mean uh, force applied on the system if that work done by the system you can take it as a positive value i come across so many problem uh, i have seen only one problem in our book uh, we have taken as the positive approach hello sir should i leave or not ankar sir screen share it the Uh, no, sir, should I leave? Sir. You can attend uh, all the session in coming days. Definitely, we will consider. Uh, many, so, many, so many people asked uh, always feedback attendance. Just you concentrate as a session. Definitely, it will be useful for you. Enrich your knowledge. You can type it in comment box if you have any doubt. Uh, hello? I think uh, some person asked me one question regarding that. Can you repeat once again? Can you repeat once again?
you can if you have any doubt you can comment it may be very uh, easy for access i hope i am audible now or otherwise you can ask through our whatsapp in whatsapp group admin we are all admin you can ask your question yeah if you give your feedback attendance definitely you can leave you can come back 3 o'clock and i don't i can't understand what platform did you use for presentation i am not clear what platform is i i have no idea thank you very much sir if you have any problem definitely you can uh, comment through whatsapp definitely we will help you your problems so the afternoon we have uh, one more session 3 to 4 o'clock we are going to discuss about uh, basic concept of finite element method using ansys mr k amudan sir assistant professor department of mechanical engineering ramkund shop technology going to handle that session that the, the session definitely will be useful for understanding the basic concept behind of finite element analysis if you understand very clear uh, definitely you can solve your problem with uh, fully understand full understand way no sir for annotation sir if you use ppt or something uh, yes annotation only used for the digitizer i hope make all presentation is no normal ppt annotation useful for just i just wherever i need to scribble i can use the annotation software i have a, a digitizer pen from that i can scribble everything thank you for your patience so now i can leave